to my walkthrough section. And I'm going to slide this over here. Okay. So this is a triple white. It sets on uh, three trailers side by side. Well, actually six. And you'll see, should you decide to go in to the Spastic Simmer Gallery on um, Sims 4 and check it out. So let's go ahead and start this walkthrough here. Let me make sure everything muted the way it's supposed to be here. There we go. All right. So <clears throat> walking through this thing, I didn't, I wasn't real interested in spending a whole lot of time on um, decoration and landscaping and whatnot and what have you. The thing that I'm going to be looking for in the shell challenge on this is whether or not you have the concrete pedestals holding your house up in the for the pier and being for the mobile home, whether or not the trailers are positioned correctly under the home. And when it comes to triple wides, double wides or single wide mobile homes, things are constructed a bit differently, right? Um, like, for example, a single wide is done in a single section, and they can be up to 64 foot long. And I think the biggest one nowadays in 2021 is about 18 foot wide, I believe. <clears throat> Triple wides depending on how big you want to go, can get up to three sections, equaling up to 40 or 50 foot wide by about 64 foot long. Now, that's a, a lot of you would believe that is a big house, and it is. But as you begin to put stuff together, the thing you're going to realize about this going through the walkthrough is... Mobile home manufacturers have a more artistic uh, artistic capability. They have a more artistic license where they can do things with their bills that do not always hold to things that are done or can be done in a residential or standard peer and beam home. You'll notice the rooms seem to be a little more spacious. And like I said, I did not spend a whole lot of time decorating. Um, as the gods know, I don't, I'm not a decorator. If, uh, as I've always said, if somebody wants to take a build that I've done and redecorate it, you know, leave the core of the thing, but decorate it up, make it look pretty, put some stuff in it. Um, put some clutter in it, as they say. But you'll notice right here, I'm showing, let me pause this. Right here, I'm showing where in a triple wide mobile home, the, the main section, the main living, um, living room, dining room, and kitchen, what they call the main living area, generally has a cathedral type ceiling. In other words, the ceiling is up at an angle. You can actually see the ceiling uh, on the inside where it where it comes up in the cathedral type. And then the the rest of the house has a standard uh, eight foot to ten foot. I think the maximum on a mobile home these days is a ten foot ceiling. So as we go through the main living area and through the kitchen and through the dining room area, mobile homes are notorious for what they call pass-throughs. And that's going to be this little thing on the right here that I think I come back and look at in a bit. But... You'll notice the uh, the dining room actually has a uh, where you can you know where it actually has a ceiling in it, and the hallways in mobile homes are usually 
uh, 24 to 28 inches wide maximum. So you're not going to find a, a lot of uh, 28 inch or 30 inch hallways in a mobile home. The reason for that is the wall span, the hallway in a mobile home is a lot of the structural support. Most of the hallways in a mobile home also come off of your center beam support. Which um, also, once, uh, once I get the speed build done, you'll be able to see this in the speed build as well. But I like to separate my walkthroughs and my speed builds. Here's the game room. In the actual floor plan, it calls this a den. I, I, I didn't see any sense in calling it a den. Simply, well, obvious reasons, you know. But, I mean, this is a relatively quick walkthrough. It's only like six minutes or so. I don't want to spend a whole lot of your time. But what made this fun, and I had a blast with it, if you want to go over to my Twitch before they fall off and watch the live build where I did this in Twitch, uh, you're welcome to. That's the reason I don't upload the live build to YouTube. Why? You know, why take up the space when if somebody wants to see what the live bill was like, all you got to do is go over to twitch.tv slash the spastic simmer. And there it is right there. Plain as day. So, you know, mobile homes are a different construction. They're a different challenge. And you have to keep this in mind when you're designing one. But as I go back out the front door and I'm going to come around and go down and then I'm going to go under the house and I'm going to check to be sure that the pier and beam or the bricks are there the way they're supposed to be. Uh, you'll notice surrounding the outer side and close to the trailer, I go up just a bit here. You can see between the trailers and the bottom of the house where I have the concrete post. Now, of course, Sim screwed with me a little bit on the size. I do apologize for that. Um, but one of the things that I really enjoyed about this build was, you know, it really come out looking nice, I think. 